Hi guys, it's Annette Williams. How are you? I wanted to make a video for you today sharing a tool that I use to capture images online. I think that this will be really helpful for you because it's been such a blessing to me through the years that uh, helped me capture my images for free. That's one thing that I love about working online. There are so many wonderful free tools that we can use to enhance our uh, uh, experience online, if you will. So let me just jump right into it here. Uh, it's, this tool is called Jing. Just go to Google and put in Jing, J-I-N-G. And it's the first thing that comes up, Jing, uh, text enough. You simply just click on that. And you can go here and you can download it for free. Uh, I've been using this tool a long time. And I know uh, how it's going to be awesome for you. So make sure you check it out. Uh, since it is that great price for free. But let me right now just go back to Google. And because I want to show you exactly how this tool uh, works and how awesome it is. Let me just pull up some images. I'll just do some Google images. How about that? And just show you what you can do with this cool, cool tool. Let's try. How about this one? Nice and colorful, right? If you look here at top, it's like a sun. <laughs> kind of cool. I always thought it was quite interesting. But right here, the first one on your left. Is what, is what you're going to capture the image with. If you click on that plus sign, it's going to pull these yellow lines down. You see how you can move them any kind of way you want. Very easy to manipulate. If you click one more time, what's going to happen is going to allow you to put that image anywhere you want. So all you have to do, you have this square with the dot or rectangular or not rectangular. <laughs> Maybe more like a diamond shape with a square in it with a circle and kind of cool. Um, this is what you're going to use. And if you move it to the end, it changes to a double ended arrow. And you're able to manipulate that yellow line or gold line to wherever, wherever, wherever you want. So all I'm going to do on each side, I'm going to bring it to my image that I'm trying to capture. Very easy, very easy. Again, it's the, every time you move from the end of the line, it turns back into the um, the little square with the circle or square or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, you put it on that line, it changes to that double end. Um, and just remember when when it's um, this way, you can you can manipulate the whole box, okay? But when you put it on the end. Is to just move the ends to where you want to capture that image. It took me a long time to figure that out, so hopefully you guys really appreciate that. <laughs> but anyway, um, on the, this first square here is to capture the in, image, which we'll be using in just a second. Second one, if you want to make a video of whatever you're capturing, that's what that is for. Third is this arrow here is to redo. Like if you make a mistake, just redo it can't break the internet and the last one is to exit out of Jink. So we're going to go back over here to capture image. Just click, click on that and it pulls that image up for you in that kind of cool guys. And then you have these other options here to your left. If you want to make red uh, like red arrows to, to your image you can use you can use um, that's what this box is for. If you want to change the text, you want to add text to it, that's what that is for. If you want it to put a frame around it, you got that one. If you want to highlight it, you have this next little area. And if you want to change the color, that's what that is for. So it's a pretty cool tool that you can use for free. I really love it. What I usually do, and I certainly suggest that you guys do, is change this date so you'll know what the image is. So we'll just put a Google symbol. How about that? And that way, when I save it, I know what it, uh, what it is. So then I go right back to uh, my save, my little save box here. Click on it. 
it's going to save it to my desktop. So I'm showing you what when you save that. Come right down here, save that image, and it lets you know capture saved. Close that out, and voila, guys, it's now on my hard drive, and I can go to my hard drive anytime I get ready and use that image today, tomorrow, and next year until I remove it. I hope this tutorial help you guys. Make sure you use it. It's free. Download it for free. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, guys, this is Annette Williams, and you go out there and make it happen. Bye for now.